What is up? What is up? What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sparks a lot. It's Wake and Bake. I know it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.20. Oh, shit, 3.20 is 4.20 somewhere. Can I get a dab going real quick? Emails popping. Let's see if I get a dab going on within this minute. Let me see which one of these can I open up fastest. I got one minute to do a dab because it's 4.20. Oh, my gosh, guys. I was going to try to get on here before the 20th mark, so... I was trying. Everything wasn't working with me this morning. I left too much stuff on my computer last night. Cheers, guys. Oh, I don't think my banger was all the way hot. It just got the 710, so. Okay. That is that. I just did a dab of that Blackberry Kush for the 420. 420 waking bakey. Wakey bakey. What's up, y'all out there? How y'all doing? Let me finish fixing up my YouTube because I just really, really hopped on here. <coughs> to try to make this 420 with y'all, but let me, um. Finish setting up my stuff over here. Get all my screens set up and mute this over here so I can get it taken care of. Mute, blah. Mute. Mute. Okay, that's muted. Boom. Excuse me. Today is, what is today? June 30th? June 30th here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um. Tonight we go recreational out here, so at 12.01, there's going to be a shit ton of dispensaries selling cannabis recreationally. So hopefully if I have an easy day, or maybe I'll rest a little later on. I just woke up. It's like 3 o'clock, so um, I should have plenty of energy by the time midnight comes around. Maybe I will ride around the city or find out which dispensary is going to have the most activities going on and maybe i'll see if i can let you guys see what's going on out there go out there do a little live taping or something see what's popping on the first day of recreational sales out here in nevada so if you are sitting here if you stop by i appreciate it don't forget to hit that thumbs up today's video is about the bruce banner cannabis strain I got this from a company called Real Sun Grown out here in Nevada. I think they go out and corrupt, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But Bruce Banner. Not to be confused with the Bruce Banner cookie. This is just regular Bruce Banner. Beautiful nugs, beautiful nugs, beautiful nugs. I'm in between harvest right now, so I had to go pick up little bit of smoke for myself so your boy ended up picking up a couple of ounces to keep me by until until it's harvest time i do have that cookies getting ready to harvest in there and then right after that will be the ninja fruit and the kim dog 104 so i'm gonna let y'all look at that for a little minute oh shit no it just fell out no no it just fell out what's going on deandre appreciate you stopping by brethren Bam, that's that Bruce Banner <clears throat> right there. Let me see if this light. I bought a lamp for my desk. I don't know if it's going to help or not. Though. Oh, look at that. I can't believe it. It gave me a little bit more light. Bam. Can you guys see in there? The cook, the Bruce Banners. The Bruce ba Is that sifting? Wow. He has arisen. <laughs> Sift scene. What's going on, man? Sifting. Sifting, sifting. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not following Sifton, he's in my chat room right now. If you're in the chat, check him out. It's cool, cool dude. Tuber grower, and his name speaks for itself. Sifton, 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 Sifton. So he loves that, 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 that. Come on. Can't find what I'm looking for. Oh, his name should be Keefine is what it should be because he, he likes that Keefe. Not to be confused with surrounded by key. It's a whole nother tuber. Shout out to SBK. 
in his getting to know series it's letting you guys <clears throat> get to know your favorite tuber bro so check him out i know he did two interviews last night with his busy body self so congrats on the two interviews he interviewed a guy named bingus if you guys aren't following bingus bingus has been i wouldn't say around youtube forever but he's from my acknowledgement and I mean, from my not not from my knowledge, <laughs> from my knowledge, he's been around the block a couple of times, you know. So check him out, man. Being this cool dude, he reminds me of Kojak, or like a younger version or something. I don't know. Cool dude, Bingus, B I N G U S. Is that the glob father? What's going on, man? You got the we got the link up, man. You came out here, I kept missing your ass. I ain't coming to Arizona though hot as hell out there hot in the az oh man when you think you're putting the cannabis in there but it's going on the other side I'm trying to stuff this cone for y'all so <clears throat> we can do this bruce banner review i haven't smoked any cannabis any herb any flowers this morning yet i just took that dab with you guys if you missed it sorry maybe i'll take one afterwards but i do want to do this little little review of the bruce banner see what it's popping on um i have been smoking it a little bit i probably smoke I don't know, maybe a gram. I picked up. Let me see, Bruce Banner, Bruce Banner. I think I picked up an ounce of this. They had ounces on sale for ninety nine dollars. It kind of pushed me off. I was like, I don't know about a ninety ninety nine dollar ounce, but we'll check it out, figure it out, see what's going on. Um, of course, it's not there. Their top shelf. I think their top shelf ounces are like two fifty. Or, or 200 something like that don't quote me on that i could be wrong the first time i went i was the first time patient the other day i'm still on my mission to get all my first time patient deals from all these dispensaries but some of them are so far it's just like man i can go to this store right here like it's a store right across the street from me and who cares if i'm gonna save you know 10 percent or get a free pre-roll with that other one because i'm new like i don't know but rec sales do start today or tonight, as I said. So tomorrow, if you're in Nevada, if you're in Las Vegas, I don't know about the surrounding counties and whatnot or cities, but if you're in Las Vegas tomorrow, you can buy you some legal cannabis, buddy. Straight legit, 21 and over, take your ID in there, do whatever. Maybe that's something I'll see if I can get one of those shops to go over the process with, with me for you guys to see what you got to do in order to get recreational i don't know if it's going to be like a card situation also to where they give you a card like a cannabis user but it's just for rec or if they're just going to use your id i'm not too sure this is all new for me it's all new <clears throat> have you been a reef yes i've been a reef a couple times that's my favorite dispensary to go get um, concentrates for because they do it on such a big scale their prices aren't like out the yin yang um when i was at canopy the other day and they spell it c-a-n-o-p-i not with a y canopy with an i at the end c-a-n-o-p-i canopy i guess they got three locations here in vegas i was only aware of the one so i went to the one which would seem more like a local spot because of the location so <clears throat> excuse me but then again it is kind of close to the arts district in nevada which is not too i mean not nevada but the arts district in las vegas which is downtown pretty much so i mean that might be a local slash tourist spot um but then the other ones are kind of on the outskirts of the city and i just i didn't feel like driving that far man it was ridiculous what's going on toy soldier man appreciate you stopping by brethren bless up son bless up stay iry stay medicated out there bro okay we have rolled our good old doobie doo our good old doobie doo raw filter tip doobie doo doo -doo 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 -doo. what you guys have been looking at is some of that bruce banner some of that bruce banner son oh dropping nugs i'm dropping nugs okay I want to do another dab, but I don't because I want to smoke this so I can give you guys a, a a great review, man. A great review. For you guys that's in the chat room right now, don't forget, man, liking helps, sharing helps. Half of you guys in the chat, I know you're subscribers already because 
I've seen you guys. My A1s in the chat room. I was going over my subscriptions yesterday trying to figure out. I wanted to see if I could figure out who was the first YouTuber. <clears throat> excuse me. I started following in this cannabis game and it wouldn't let me know. Like I went back through my videos, my like videos, and I don't think they had the order in there correctly. Like they're supposed to go from the most recent likes all the way down to your <clears throat> your past likes. And like 75% of the way down the list, it had videos that I supposed to have like four years ago. And then you go about a you know, a list or two under that, and it had one year ago videos I like. So I was trying to figure out some of the folks, the first folks that I started following, some of my first subs. And I noticed that some of y'all been with your boy for a good year, man. A year, year and a half. Um, I do want to give a big, big fucking shout out to the homie Thug Doug right now. I did, I was able to see who my first like cannabis weed tuber sub was. Um, that was one of the things that was actually working on the site yesterday. So Doug Doug. Um was my first cannabis related YouTube subscriber and he's still riding with me. It's been over a year and a half. So I take time to salute you, bro. I would say pat yourself on the back, but like it's not that of a big deal. Anyways, Bruce Banner. <sighs> Doobie Doobies. Finna get it in, guys. Glob model, real thing for you. Toy Soldier 420. Glob father again. Former Hank 420. I appreciate y'all stopping by, man. Y'all, you guys just don't know. You guys so far. Oh, I can't forget the homie sipping. I ain't seen him in the longest. And DeAndre Flyboy with the first one to pop something in the chat room today. So shout out to all y'all, man. I hope y'all got some plans for the fourth. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to catch up with my homeboy today because I think we might go out to the lake. We usually go over to the big homie house and just shoot off all types of fireworks. Um, I put a small video up of our 4th of July celebration from last year. I think it's on here on YouTube. But uh, yeah, last year was crazy, man. We almost set some. As a matter of fact, last year. <laughs> Last year, a palm tree got set on fire in the homie's yard. It was hilarious. I mean, it wasn't funny in the fact that that shit is dangerous, but it, it was funny in the fact that we shooting off all these bottle rockets and Roman candles and big ass shits that blue, 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 just everywhere. One hit the tree and the tree was dry. And the next thing you know, whoosh, fire department had to come out, put the tree out and shit. It was, you should have seen us though, trying to find a hose to hook up to the house and then trying to get it. Close, <laughs> close enough to the tree. You know, it's like almost trying to pee on the fire when you got this little bitty hose in the tree, damn palm tree, sixty feet up in the air, and you're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to spread with a hose. It's ridiculous. Anyway, the fire department came out. Nobody got in trouble, man. But um, good times, bro. Independence Day, Fourth of July, was crazy as hell last year. Let me try to scroll back down in my chat, see if I got any new people up in here. Oh, Master Yeep. Master Yeep. Let me do a little something right here, right quick, right here, right quick, because y'all is just so motherfucking gangster. Oh, I was going to say, why Master Yeep ain't got his wrench? What's going on with that? What's going on with that? Boom. This guy right here, he's been, it's been around for a minute, man. Toy soldier. I done slapped you with a wrench, son. You got a wrench, son. Oh, I almost got too much wrenches in here. Too many wrenches in here. Anyways, guys, let's get it. Bruce Banner. For you guys that's just stopping in here, before I light this doobie doobie up, I'll show you all some of these nuggy nuggets. Some of these nuggy nuggets. Oh, look at that. A handful of deliciousness. Bruce Banner. Make you go Hulk. Okay, you guys. I turn into the Hulk. Y'all be on the lookout for the news in Vegas. Brother smokes Bruce Banner joint and goes Hulk on him. Oh, yeah. Anyways, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Why does my chat keep going up there? What's going on, Night Mayor? Jigalo313, Fade to Black. What's going on, man? We just finna get it in on this, this here. Um, Bruce Banner, so I can give y'all a review. 
first and smart for uh first and foremost this is grown by real sun grown out here in vegas nevada maybe not in nevada but in i mean maybe not in vegas but it's in nevada a lot of the dispensaries out here grow in the rural parts they'll grow either out in pahrump or um reno reno is our capital actually so <clears throat> anyways not reno carson city tripping tripping how the hell are you gonna be in vegas and not know where your goddamn capital city is <laughs> carson city nevada man anyways oh yeah real sun growing probably got that shit upside down so y'all can see it's just outdoor it's not indoor so it gets all the the benefits of that good old sun that all us indoor growers don't really get we don't get that full power of that sun that pow anyways i'll show y'all a couple notes again it's that bruce banner bruce banner maybe i will take some pictures or something throw it on my ig later so you guys can see see it <coughs> excuse me Hold on, guys. Tempo, no switch inside. I had to get something to clean me nose palette so I can give y'all a true testament of what the hell I smell when I sniff this here. David Banner. David, David Banner. I'm just playing. Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. So let me clean my palate with some of this coffee. <sighs> yes, hold on. Okay. Now, David Bruce Banner. I smell earthy. It's baby gassy. It's not like premium. It's not like unleaded. It's like that mid-grade gas. Not mid-grade per se, like strain, but like it's that mid, that mid gas. It's not like payal pungent in the nose, like uppercut. Boom. And it's not like a little slap on the nose, like, oh, I can smell it. It's some like boom. I'm there. I'm here. Oh my gosh, it's fucking lovely. A little bit of sweet. <sighs> like a flower sweet. Not like a fruit sweet, it's like a flower. Feel the flower sweet, floral, floralicious. Oh my gosh, it's yummy. Okay, anyways, so out of smell, out of the aroma, I got earthy, mid gas, floral, sweet, sweet floral, earthy, baby gassy. Not like Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Bloom, bloom, bloom. Is it 93 octane? No, it's 79, 89, and 91. Some shit like that. I don't know. It's one of them. It's in the middle. It's not like that super gas that when you smell it, like one of your nose hairs might shrivel up just a little bit. Like, damn, what was that you just put in my nose, man? It's delicious. I hope y'all smoking with your boy out there, man. You done had a good, I don't know how long I've been on here. Let me see. Uh, I can't see. Don't feel like looking. But you didn't have plenty of time to roll up, get that bone straight, get that email lit, get that email lit. Oh, speaking of emails, don't forget, man. You, you want you a high five email, something like that one back there, that little gold thing. Sorry, my camera skills. My camera skills is super all the email justice. You see it with the sticker on there, boy. I'm sorry about my desk being a little bit dirty. I have yet to dust it off in a little while. It does not come with the Mr. Sparks a lot sticker either. You got to get them for me, but. If you go over to high five, high five vape.com, they got emails starting out around a hundred dollars. They're not super expensive. I've had my email for a year. No issues, no problems. I cut it on. It's usually on for the day. No issues, no problems. The coil straight, the, the connections, the wires, all that shit. Lovely, scrumptious, and delicious. So for those that's looking for a high five, I mean for an email. You try to using all that goddamn butane in them torches, buying torches every month and butane every other day. If you're tired of that shit, don't get your email. And when you're over there at high5vape.com, 
at checkout, use the name Mr. Sparks a lot. All one word, lowercase or uppercase, it don't matter. As long as you spell my name correctly, they will give you a discount. I believe it's 5%. Um, I know there's been a couple of people that have used it already. What's his name? Uh, I believe Bob W. You guys know who he is. Picked him up one the other day in this. He said my code works. So I think it's 5% that you get off. So it's a little less than taxes. I mean, it'll say you some money on the purchase. And I ain't bought butane since I bought my, my email. Ah. Uh, I want to hit it a couple of times so I get that taste. You know, I just, all that extra paper right there. I'm trying to still taste the paper from the twist up. But. Let's get in there. Starting to taste a little bit. So it's not purple menthol. Do I smell purple menthol? No. Not on this particular one. <clears throat> now, I do want to make an announcement. I wanted to put Bruce Banner Strain Opinion is the title. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand out there. There's a lot of good strains running around the world right now. A lot of good strains. There's a lot of garbage shit running around out there, but there is a grip of good strains running out there. What people don't realize, <clears throat> the strain don't grow itself. The grower grows the strain. So, you would think naturally that a strain, the same strain is going to be different depending on the way it grows and by the grower. If I take, say, Bruce Banner, for instance, I don't know if this is available in seed formation or if it's just a clone only um, strain at the moment, but say Bruce Banner, for instance, if I gave this Bruce Banner to all 11 people that are in the chat room right now and I said, hey, grow this. At harvest, you're going to have 11 different products to try out from it's one strain but you're gonna have 11 different products it's kind of like coke or soda pop in general you got coke out there you got pepsi you got rc cola you got shasta you got all these knockoffs or not knockoffs but lower branded companies they all selling the same shit it's soda it's a pop sarsaparilla whatever you want to call it but the consistency the weight the growth the recipe the ingredients is all different so it's the same even within the dispensaries. You might get some Bruce Banner from dispensary A and it's super kill. Like, oh my gosh, I need some more of that. And then you go to the next dispensary and whether they growers ain't the same, they don't have the same experience or whatever it might be, it's not of the same quality. You're still talking about the same strain, different grow methods, different grow styles, different grow times, harvest times, all that stuff. So, when I do a review on a strain, it's kind of like this batch right here, you know, because the next batch from this same company could come out. They could have a bug issue. They could have a heating issue. They could have a nutrient issue. It's not going to come out the same necessarily the next time. It could. I mean, because it, it really depends on their they business model, but I'm pretty sure you can ask any and every experienced grower out there. If, you know, if each of their strains comes out the same every time, you know, I mean, if they do, if you have one feeding regimen and it just say you're using general hydro because you just love general hydro and that's all you're using all the time for the same strain, nine times out of 10, you're going to get the same consistency. If you're somebody like me, it's kind of fairly new. I'm just trying out different nutrients. I got general hydro over here. I got sweet leaf. I got elite nutrients. I got this one, that one. I'm pretty sure all these different nutrients is going to give me a different flavor profile, maybe a different taste um, as far as the terpene profile goes. So 
you know, everybody out there has had some fire Gorilla Glue number four, some fire dank or some fire green crack, you know, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure that there's everybody out there that, you know, that's had a bad experience with the certain strain that they like, like headband, for instance. The first time I grew that shit out in my garden, oh my gosh, it was some kill. I did not keep that plant around because I was still young. And a novice and really didn't know about cloning and all that other shit or revegging. So I didn't get, you know, I chopped the plant down. That was the end of that. So I went to go plant the same seeds. You know, this next headband, it's okay, but it's not like that. It's not that gas that I was looking for from that first plant. So, you know, seeds might vary along with everything else. So just to let you guys know. Now that I'm in this a little bit, I like the way this coats my palate. It's hard to describe the taste. I probably should have um, not drunk coffee this morning before I did this. But okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all see I'm sweating or not. For those that know me, my first tale of some good smoke, for me anyway, I started sweating. I don't know if y'all see my face start to glisten up a little bit since I've been on the live, but usually a good cannabis will make me sweat. I get face sweats. I don't know why. I'm not sweating anywhere else in the body. My arms not sweating, none of that, but my face is sweating. I got the face sweats. Real Ting for you said I made 400 subs today. We need to get that shit up, man. We need to get that up. Can we hit 420 today for Real Ting? I wish I had that many people in here to be like, hey, sub the fuck up the Real Ting. But I'm not that that person. Maybe one day. Maybe maybe if I get 100,000 views, I can have that power to be like, hey, y'all, go check this person out, man. Real team for you. It's a cool cat, man. What's going on, Andy? I don't even know what that is. Einstmann. Einstmann. Andy Einstmann. Get it up. It is up. It's lit. We lit. I'm up in here chilling. Love Bruce Banner. Got some seeds of it. I need to run shit. Let me get some of them beans, Mingus. <laughs> I'm just playing, but I'm serious. I've turned into a seed. A seed junkie. There's four different strains named headband that I know about. Yeah. Well, you got 707. Or is it 808? I don't know. There's a couple different headbands out there. Running around out there. But I imagine by now it's more than a couple because everybody's crossing shit. Everybody's making crosses with stuff. So. Strawberry banana came in two times to fourth and 10th place. If I recall by a different grower since they was both top. Yeah. It really depends on growers and your medium, your atmosphere, all that. You know, like anything can be off dial on each grow and it'll 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 affect the plant in general. So excuse me. I should have measured what I rolled up. I just grabbed the bud out of there and started to grind it. If I had to say, I put about a gram in this motherfucker. So at about a gram, I'm not even a third into the joint. I'm feeling lovely. This is the first time I smoked today. This is my bacon wake. Oh, gosh. This is my get high or die session right now. Early in the morning. Well, it's not early. It's 3 o'clock. Woke up late. I couldn't sleep last night for some odd ass reason. I think I went to bed like five this morning. So to wake up at three for me is okay. Oh, oh. Y'all like that? Keep one roll, baby. Keep one roll. Like we say, I'm in the cut, in the cut, smoking doobies up. Oh, I'm sweating. This is ridiculous. Y'all see all that sweat, man? I need to go get a napkin or something. 
feel like I've been running track outside or in the garden. Headband 707818 and Moonfist headband. That's what's up. You know what, guys? I don't know if any of y'all were around a while back, but I got a, a, a prize from a mystery sender a while back. It's been bothering me in the back of my head because somebody sent me some beans and like <coughs> my promotional or shipping address, whatever the hell you want to call it, is on the internet, my P.O. box. So anybody can send me shit. Like I got a track the other day from Florida. I was like, what the fuck? Somebody sent me a track from Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. They didn't put a return address on there. I don't know if they're trying to be funny or secretive, if that's a joke or whatnot, but long story short, I got some beans sent to me a while back and I didn't, I couldn't figure out who the hell sent them to me. But the other day when I was going through my subs, oh, I got to get a towel, guys. Hold on. I got to get a paper towel before I. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> Bing is hitting me on the front page. I mean, Bing is hit. What's called on Hangouts? Oh, gosh. Now I would say I'm about halfway there. I'm feeling lovely. I'm feeling all good inside. Um. <sighs> Okay, flavor profile. <coughs> flavor profile. Wow, well, smoking. Dang, that's a lot of that's a lot of sweat, man. Flavor profile while smoking. It's just smooth, man. I don't know what else to say. I should have probably brushed my teeth before I hopped on here and not drank that coffee. I literally got up, drunk some coffee, and wanted to roll up. So that's a little bit of the burn on it. It's not the widest ash I've seen, but there's no harshness in the smoke at all. So once again, we are smoking in the raw cone papers. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Three new uploads just dropped. Come show some love after the live. That's what's going on. What's going on? 420 smoking section. Appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, bro. Excuse me. Share, 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 share. Share on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever the hell. Unless you just look like a straight YouTube head. I know some folks that just do YouTube. They don't be on Facebook and all them other shits. Which I have no problem with. I'm everywhere. I'm like a YouTube shadow. I mean, I'm like an internet shadow. Everywhere you go, I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm right there. Colin Kaepernick. Dude, if one more person, I'm tired. People are always calling me something, man. When I was in high school, everybody thought I looked like one of them niggas from Crisscross. <clears throat> I forget which one of them, the light skin one. Are you Crisscross? No, I ain't Chris. Do I don't like Crisscross, nigga. I'm old enough to be his older brother, man. Damn, Crisscross. Shout out to Crisscross, man. I forgot one of them niggas passed. RIP. Crisscross. Or Chris. Or Cross, whichever one of y'all passed. Excuse me. I always look like somebody. Colin Kaepernick. What else is the other dude name? What's that dude name? The little comedian that was on all them. What movie he was in? I forget that comedian name, light skin. Every time somebody light skin make a famous, I look like him. No, I don't look, I look like myself, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boom. Okay. I'm faded though. I appreciate all you guys connecting, linking up within the chat room, man. That's what that this that's what this is for. That's what this community is about, man. So you can link up with other like-minded people like yourself, learn something new, 
do reviews, unboxings, all that. Let people know what's out there in your neck of the woods, what you're doing. And you can see how people doing in their neck of the woods, you know? I ain't never been to Maine, so I don't know shit about Maine, but I know some folks in Maine, and if I ever get ready to go to Maine, I could be like, hey, OB, I just hit the city, man. Why don't you show your boy a little... Can I see what the locals do, what they do over here? You know, <clears throat> anybody can travel to a city and, be, you know, see the sights and all that other shit. But when I go places, I like to go where the locals go. I don't want to go see the Eiffel Tower or the Statue of Liberty. You see that shit all day on TV, movies, whatever. Take me to the bars y'all be at. Take me where y'all go fishing at. Take me where y'all, you know, where y'all, the people that live here, take me to go see what y'all do. That's what I want to go do, so. It's all about branching out, connections, family. Thanks for your input last night. And man, Vegas, bro, anytime, man. You you laid out a lot of knowledge out there. I feel like I could learn a lot, a lot, a lot from you. You know, YouTube is full of people. I'm subscribed to probably over a thousand subscribers. I'll probably keep up about a hundred of them. I watch everybody's stuff. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, if I'm subscribed to you, I watch one of your videos at least once a week, maybe if not more. But being subscribed to a thousand people, plus being a dad and and I got to work and all that stuff, it's hard to keep up with all these folks. But if you put out content on a regular, I'm usually right there. And usually, like Bingus, Cyclops, some of the older guys the older generation that's been doing this shit for the longest pop all dabs man shout out to you that's who i learn from like i look up to you guys so any accolades that i get from you guys just it, it blows rainbows out of my body it's like oh shit you know they they see me they recognize me like i'm here like you know so i appreciate you know you doing what you do because if it wasn't for you guys if it wasn't for the the older generation that kept these plants in their basements, in their backyards, out in the woods. You know, we wouldn't have this shit to medicate on, you know. And the government been trying to get rid of this plant for 80 plus years, man. And it's still fucking here. You want to know why it's here? It's here because of people like Mingus and because of people like Papa Dabs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and people like CO and Bader and just, I mean, I can go on for days. You know what I'm saying? These folks stuck their neck out to keep nature around they should be called you guys should all pat yourself on the back for being nature conservatives or conservationalists um yeah the keepers of the trees as mendo boys call them i'm extremely pleased with my 99 dollar ounce of boost banner I went in there to get some some shake <coughs> so I could take make some more edibles because I really, really want to. I'm going to make this bacon. Bacon. <coughs> I'm going to make this bacon fat cannabis oil. I might just do it today. I don't know. What's this? Because of my cooking channel. Bacon grease. Cannabis oil. It's from all, you know, when you cook bacon, that grease is left over. I put that shit in the cup in the refrigerator. And then when I get ready to saute my vegetables or, you know, it's usually sauteing vegetables. If you guys eat asparagus, fry that shit in some bacon grease. You ain't got no bacon. You run out of bacon, you got the grease in the refrigerator, fry that shit in the bacon grease. Tastes just like it. Without the meat. <laughs> And you ain't got to use a lot of it because it packs a punch with flavor in general. So, well, we go wreck tonight. Legally, we went wreck on the first, but there was no shops open out here. There was not a shop open and ready. So, they had until January 1st, 2018 to get their shops up and running. And the senator and the governor out here was like, no, nah, fuck that. we going to get this shit open yesterday already. So, they did all they could in six months to shout, shout out to all the people in the legislation out here that made this shit happen. So tonight at midnight, there's going to be a handful of shops open still. 
it's going to start banging out rec sales. So I want to see if there's going to be any lines out there, if it's going to be a big deal, like if people are really hyping this up, like, I don't know. I know when I've seen like documentaries, like when Colorado opened up their first dispensaries, how people was lined up around the fucking block to damn pick up, you know, it's like, wow, they're all in there to go buy some bud. Who do I see in that line? And I know Bill, I'm just, Bill, you better not go get that guy. Are you in line to buy marijuana, Bill? I'll tell your mama. I'll be out there in September, bro. Hey, you know where I'm at, man. I'm going to go check the mail again today, bro, but I'm kind of mad, man. The post office lady, like, oh, my gosh. This older lady. She cool. She from somewhere. I don't know. Ukraine, Yugoslavia. Don't matter. She here. She gangster as hell. She work at the post office. She might be an alien. I'll be watching them in the blacks, man. They say post office work. <laughs> Everybody working in the post office is an alien, so she might be. I don't know. The fucking lighters getting low. I just taste smoothness right now. I almost feel like a butthead because when I do my reviews, I need to make sure that my teeth are clean, my, my palate's all good, just like a wine testing. I, I taste pineapples. I hate doobies. They go out when they get little. They just want to keep going out. It's the resin in there. It's like, dude, I'm not trying to burn, bro. You gotta ask for tracking when you get ready to do it. I got a business on eBay and shit, and I do well. I'm trying to dumb my business down on eBay because I really don't pay that much attention to it. And some months I pay for it and I sell shit, so it's like money just down the drain. So, with all these other apps nowadays where you can sell stuff, I might just get rid of my eBay store. But I have a PayPal account, and if you got a PayPal account, you can go in there. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just on business account store or what, but <coughs> PayPal has a it's this thing called multi. I think it's a multi shipping tool or some shit, but that's where I pay for all my shipping at. And PayPal gets like a little discount with the UPS and shit. So like if it costs somebody, I hardly ever pay more than two dollars a package to get it sent out. And it's in that's priority. It gets there well, it's usually first class. I guess they're usually in i send stuff to Maine from here to Maine and like it's gotten there in two to three days, something like that. And I always, I always get tracking because I want to know where my shit's at. And I want to know what, you know, I want you guys to know where your stuff's at so you're not like whatever. I mean, I don't much go to, when I send stuff out, like record me, here you go, dropping it off, post office, bing, like, <laughs> but I don't play when they go to send the stuff off. I know shit get lost in the mail though. <coughs> Somebody else sent me something a while back and I ain't get the first package and I don't know if they didn't send it. I mean, I imagine they would because they sent everybody some shit and everybody else got theirs, but mine, you know. But the lady at the post office did mention something about there was a mix up at the post office and some of the letters went to somewhere else. But then she said, you know, I guess what you paid for was the package or whatever. So she's like, he probably sent a big letter and I got all the big letters today. So, but I went yesterday. <clears throat> but my post office box is kind of far away from my house. It's like, I gotta go, excuse me. I usually stop by there when I go out to work, but the days that I ain't got to work, I don't go because, you know, I can usually hit it up or I wait till the weekend or something. But I've been going every day since Monday. Like, shh, I got a package, I got a package, I got a package. Get there, open that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Looking all in the box, like, hey, I don't see no key. I don't see no mail. No mail. Like, hey, yo, old post office lady, you didn't put my shit in the next mailbox by any chance, did you? <laughs> Cause I know I've gotten pieces of other people, like the mailboxes next to me, I've gotten their mail a time or two. Not often, but it's happened, you know? So, 
who knows? Maybe it did get here and my neighbor got it. <laughs> and they took it home I'm like, what the fuck is hey honey, there's some beans right here. Let's let's throw them in the garden and see what they come. See what they make. It's gonna be my neighbor. <laughs> My neighbor might have some cannabis plants growing somewhere in two, three months. <laughs> I don't know what kind of seeds these are. Oh my god, this is crazy, man! I've never looked for Bruce Banner beans. I've never really looked up this strain, but I do a Bruce Banner review. And look, look what YouTube pops up in my fucking in my feed. Let me see if y'all can see that. Those are my last two videos. And then what's the next video? Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. Everybody else's reviews. That's crazy, man. They be tracking what you do on here. So every time you buy something, they show you a damn ad for it right after you purchased it. And it's usually for cheaper. I told up I just spent two hundred on there. You want to amount to the guy that for the one forty nine ninety nine? Let me go back over here and cancel this order. Let me buy this one. One forty nine ninety nine. I just saved fifty dollars by switching the Geico. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's just done. It's done, son. I'm not fucking with the last of that. I mean, I bust up a lung, a whole lung, and nothing but the lung. It come right up. It's crazy. Oh, okay, so. <coughs> I'm gonna do something right now. Let me see. And the Bay Blues not in here. NASCAR is not in here. I'm gonna do a giveaway, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. For a uh, fry pack of some old. I'm gonna give you a choice. You can either get the OG guap berries, which is the first cross, or you can get the double OG guap berries, which is my second cross. The double OG guap berries has OG guap berries in it, though. But you might want the original. So I don't know. Give you a choice. Five pack. And then probably a mystery bean or some shit. But um Luigi is going to wreck at Las Vegas, Nevada tonight at midnight Pacific Standard Time. Like California time, Arizona time. Well, not Arizona time, because y'all be on y'all on this shit over there. Anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. Is it because of the title of your live? What? And yeah, just because I typed that title in my live, them motherfuckers is showing me all these damn Bruce Banner reviews now. Like, it's my review. What I want to see somebody else review? Bro? I'm just playing. I might go check out not not nations strain review. Who else got one? Ted. Boy. Well, these might be. These are all people I'm subscribed to. They review. So I guess that's kind of cool. But it's weird. Like, dude, you have never showed me any Bruce Banner. I wonder if I end the live and then make, like, oh, I'm smoking on some cookies. If they'll do that shit. YouTube don't like you to use smoke in your, your title. Smoking or, no, huh, is this smoke? It's a couple words, man. You title that shit, they'd be like, nope. We are not playing this. What? Because of my word? Are you serious? Fuck out of here. The word marijuana, I think, is not um, friendly. If you put cannabis in there. Oh, they don't like weed. If you put weed in your title, it's like a big fucking no-no. I'm like, what if you're a gardener and you really have weeds in your yard and you're trying to kill them motherfuckers? It's like me killing weeds. In my backyard garden. Y'all gonna fuck up that you gonna fuck with that video? You probably could put the name of the weed. Weed killing. I don't even know no weed names. <laughs> That's fucked up. But yeah. <clears throat> Guys, <clears throat> excuse me, and gals. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I forgot. Damn. On this piece of paper right here. Let y'all see. It's my winners from last night. Let's give away. Shout out to uh, NASCAR 707 GTG and Nevada Blue. Both of them won a five pack and some mystery seats. So I'm going to write a number down. I'm going to try to keep my pinky out. Let's see. Like that. Yes. I'm going to write a number down.
12 people in here. Pick one number. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think everybody in here is a, well, you must be a subscriber to win. So if you haven't yet to subscribe, go hit that subscription button. And I have to see that you're a subscriber. I don't want to hear that. My subscription list is private shit, like whatever. If you're private, but you're making videos, it don't make no sense. Oh, shit, it's almost 420. 10 minutes, y'all. Anyways, Dominique Bird. Appreciate you stopping by. My lips is dry than a mother right now, son. I'm going to write a number down. Thanks for stopping by, Dominique. Gonna do a giveaway. You came just in time, buddy. Look at that. You even got sound effects. <laughs> My phone goes off at some of the weirdest times. Anyways, if I had to put a giveaway in the video, it'd be twice as many people in here. So I'm gonna start doing secret giveaways for like my my real ace boom coons to come in here and see me, see me. So, so all these oddballs, not to say that everybody's an oddball, but so you know them people that just got lucky for the fuck of it. We probably won't see their ass again. I like giving shit away to people that are gonna appreciate it. And it's been around, hanging around to me. Anyways, long story short, I'm picking number one through. One through 39, and you only get to pick one number. Don't put no fucking numbers in there right now because I'm going to press go in the damn chat. If you put your number in there before the word go, it's not going to count. Duplicate numbers, the second number does not count. So it's not like the chat is just super blazing, moving fast. Keep an eye on the chat, and you will... Be able to see what everybody else picked. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm going to type go 1 through 39. You only get one pick on your marks. Oh, shit, I'm in the wrong type box. Get set. Chronic Smoker going to give away. If you ain't heard me, you got to be a sub. 1 through 39. One number you can enter. Cheers, Papa Dabs. Your ears must have been ringing because I was just talking about you, man. Everybody in the chat room, take a time out right now and sub up to Papa Dabs. Papa Dabs is like triple OG <laughs> in the cannabis game, so <clears throat> it's a lot you can learn from him. Old school. I'm going to say, like Pac said. We wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't raise us. So y'all soak up all the information you can from people like Papa Dabs and Cyclops. And the list goes on, man. The list goes on. So yeah, smash that sub up button to Papa Dabs. Cause if you in here, you, you mess with the cannabis and Papa Dabs is cannabis. <laughs> Period. 17 watching. I might have to change my giveaway, man. It's like I said, giveaway, and people start coming in here on the uh did he say giveaway? Let me come in here. Oh, 420 girl. I mean not 420 girl. Baby J put out a new video. Checking in on the bedroom. Her and her lovely, beautiful garden over there. He calls it mad grower. We're gonna take another pause time out that's one of the the people that inspire me to do what i do right there i, I learned a lot by watching mv mv closet med grower the bruce banner that i smoked on is lovely i've been super chatty like super chatty it's from sun grown sun grown real sun grown i don't know if you ever heard of him mv but I picked it up at Canopy out here. They had like $99 ounces. I'm in between harvest right now. So I want to go pick up some um, some trim to make some butter and shit. And I saw that. So like, let me get one. You can't beat a $100 ounce. And it's decent. Like, you know, <clears throat> I haven't smoked that many. Um... I haven't smoked Bruce Banner 
from anywhere else so i can't really compare it to anything else but seems pretty decent to me but you guys let me get oh shit, we got five minutes before 420 so i'm gonna go ahead and do this giveaway since there's 17 people in here now pick a number one through 41 41 51 shit. yeah one through 51 you get one choice duplicate numbers the second number won't count you gotta be a set go 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 versace on the floor by bruno mars boom 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 I was gonna say, Will Tang, your ass can't enter, man. You just got a fucking package. <laughs> <laughs> like, real thing, real thing, real thing. <laughs> Y'all don't forget to hit them thumbs up, too, man. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let me get ready to do a dab right quick. Oh, I already hit the blackberry this morning. I already hit the blackberry. Oh, I should have made my bed. <clears throat> Boom. Should have made my bed. Has everybody had a chance to get their number in? I may put 17 in there already. I said one pick, one number. One number, one number. You guys are cheating. <laughs> Real thing. 40, 17, 18, 20, 50, 11. That would make a great birthday present. Dang, Buffy. <laughs> Man, the goons, real team was like, bruh, you must slow down, man. Let me pop out this chat so I can see what's going on all the way in here a little bit. How long ago did I say go? Oh, just go in that corner. And then you come down there, there you go. go. <laughs> okay. I hope everybody's got their numbers in. My one handed typing. I press stop. So no numbers will be counted after stop. I can't see. A couple minutes ago. All right. Sixteen. I hope y'all can, can see that. So who in the hell is close to 16? Big Ass got 22, Real Team's got 37, Paw Paw 24, Chronic Smoker 50, Cyclops with 17, uh, 17, 25, Dominic Burr 40, Michelle R8, Luigi. Let me pop this out, man, so I make sure I don't miss nobody. 8, 40, 25, 17. I think it's Cyclops with the 17. Chronic Smokers, 50, Papa Dabs, 24, 22. Yep. Where did I push stop? No numbers since stop. Yep. Cyclops. <laughs> Congratulations. Sir. Oh shit, 429. I'm do a dab, guys. Oh my gosh. Right to where you were. Over there. In the corner. Boom. Oh man. It's 420. And I have no. I did this last time. Shit. Congratulations, Cyclops. Once again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take a dab of this cement cookies. 
shadow that I picked up from Canopy also. <clears throat> Mr. Sparks a lot, send it to Michelle R for her birthday present. Okay. I love this community. <laughs> I think Cyclops already has some of that. That was very generous to him. Cheers, guys and girls. I mean, Michelle, I need your address, mama. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yes, please send it to me on the IG. I appreciate that. Guys and girls, it's been a long review. <laughs> that Bruce Banner's on point. I think it's good. Um, but if you ever get a bad batch of something, don't knock the fucking strain. It's probably grower error. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. If it's a bad experience with the smoke, it's usually error by the grower um yeah in my opinion anyway i'm not god so <laughs> i don't know why this thing won't like focusing once it gets far away hey you guy i'm right here can you focus hello i don't know anyways i appreciate everybody stopping by i love y'all to death um you guys have pushed me to over 100,000 views on youtube so i feel like I'm just stoked about that. <coughs> stoked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody, Cyclops is is double O O T man. I appreciate that, Cyclops. Um I might just send you out a pack anyway. I don't think you got the double OG Glock Bears. I think you just got the regular ones. So I might get you a pack out anyways. Out of your generosity because I like when stuff like that happens, man. So I think I already got your Addy side. <clears throat> I'm going to get you a pack out too. So let me write that down. Michelle R. I'm going to have a busy day today. And don't forget, Rick does go legal out here in Las Vegas tonight, midnight, or 12.01, actually. So, if you're in Cali, come out, man. Smoke something with your boy. I'm going to be out tonight. <laughs> Just playing. I will be out. I'm going to probably try to go shoot some footage at one of these dispensaries. I don't know if they'll let me inside, but I'll sit outside and just parking lot pimp for a minute and see what's popping. I don't know, but... Cyclops and Michelle or Oh my gosh. I appreciate everybody stopping by. I'm lifted. I need to do something constructive. Not that this isn't constructive. I love you guys to death. Appreciate everybody chatting. Please sub up to Cyclops in the chat room if you have not already. <clears throat> He's a very kind-hearted, knowledgeable tuber grower breeder his motto is those that know grow so if you grow you already know motherfuckers <laughs> y'all be good out there man papa dabs if he's still in here subscribe to him too these guys are like they just they like encyclopedias, man. If you need something, they've been doing this shit 
Both of them are friendly as hell. <clears throat> and as long as you're not dicks, they're willing to answer some anything and everything. Man. About cannabis. I don't know about their personal life. Cyclops trying to be somebody's sugar daddy, so. <laughs> I'm just playing Miss Cyclops. It's a joke. Pinky promise. <laughs> Y'all be good out there. I might need to go outside. It's supposed to rain today in Vegas. I got a little text. I doubt it'll rain. When it rains, I hear it sprinkles. Sprinkles. I love y'all. As always, man. Hide up, talk up, blaze up, smoke up. If you like your concentrates, get your dab on. If you like your edibles, man, get your snack on. Don't forget to check out the Elevated Edibles channel. That's on my main page. That's my other channel, my cooking channel. And if I do this bacon grease cannabis oil video today it'll be on that channel um i'll probably stop uploading my videos my cooking videos to my channel because i'm trying to make that other channel just for cooking videos so i love y'all be good out there have a blessed day um and until we meet again i appreciate all 17 y'all man don't forget to hit that thumbs up hit that share button let your people know what's going on celebrate the cannabis community because city by city and state by state man we legalize it so it won't be long before everybody should be able to enjoy this plant man money talks and bullshit walks and once these current businesses start to throwing their money around and lobbying and 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 government then you know it's gonna be a sight to see man we in we in great times for the cannabis community i don't care who's in office i obama um trump hillary i it's the people that is going to make this shit happen. So y'all keep up the hard work, man. Have a blessed, super blessed day, super blessed weekend. What is today? Is today Friday? I don't even know. Today is Friday. My days are all messed up. I'm going to go back to work till Sunday. So I'm just like in a drift right now. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Be good. Until next time. Thanks for stopping by. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to everybody. Not everybody in the chat room. Peep out the chat room, man. It's a lot of light minds. A part of Vegas. Am I on? Um, by the airport, which is a very big place. So, <laughs> excuse me, Fade the Black, Seppy. Pop all dabs, man. Many blessings to you and Cyclops. A pot smoker. I appreciate you stopping by, Reggie. Master Yip. It's our birthday. Whose birthday? I think Michelle R's birthday. Is it today? You and Summerlin? Yeah, that's way on the other side, man. I don't go out that way unless I have to. I'm a homebody, bro. I be at the crib, man, as you can see. If I'm not at work, I'm at home. Or I'm at somebody's house. So, I don't know. Stick around. Not like here, but I get to know you, man. I just met you. I'm at internet you. I need to know you, you. You know. Or maybe you'll see me at a function or something, man. I'm going to be out tonight somewhere. One of these dispensaries is opening up, so we'll see what's popping. I mean, not opening up, but doing their wreck thing, so. <laughs> yeah, Vegas has a lot of non-vegans. Non-vegans. I'm a native man. I, I know the city. I've seen it grow from a little hole in the desert to, you know, sooner or later it's going to be houses and businesses from mountain to mountain and mountain to mountain. Damn near like, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's gone a long way. And if we don't get no water soon <laughs> from what they say, we're going to build a Raiders stadium out here for all you Raiders fans. And we low on water. I don't understand that. But shout out to the Raiders fans. Love y'all. I'm not a sports person myself because we don't have no team. And even the Raiders, they don't seem – Raiders have been everybody's team. So they show they ain't my team. But if you love the Raiders, congrats. But I'm not a sports fan anyway. So that will be good. Got to go because I keep rambling. So Bruce Banner, check. Show me shit. So you get you some and then get your strained opinion entitled a strain review. <laughs> Y'all be good out there, man. Bro, 
I don't know. It's something I got a text message or something email that said to watch out for rain in Vegas. It was from some of the news. I don't know, man. That's my team, Raiders. But that's what's up. I'm sure you'll have fun at this new stadium that we don't have water for. <laughs> but it's going to bring a lot of jobs to Vegas, so I'm, I appreciate that. You know, I, I'm not knocking it by any means. Don't think that I'm knocking sports or football or the Raiders or any of that. I love it all. I just don't watch sports. No. I might watch the Super Bowl. I watch big games, and that's if I'm not doing anything else. Like, I might go to a big game party and not watch none of the game because I'm so busy socializing, conversating. Doing whatever. Y'all be good, man. I gotta get out of here. It's 4 30 on that ass. Smoke something. Stay medicated. <laughs>